Today we're going to continue to explore the features of iMovie 09. Now in the previous installment we created a simple photo slideshow and we set it to a piece of background music. We're going to pick up where we left off last time. You'll see that we have our cross-country slideshow up in our project viewer here and uh, we have our background music, Chariots of Fire, highlighted here in green. Now if we want to start previewing that project we can come down here to the play the project button and you'll notice that as the piece begins that the background music actually has a rather soft and slow introduction section uh, before it reaches the very recognizable piano refrain from Chariots of Fire. What we're going to do today is actually edit the piece of audio so that we remove that introduction and we jump directly into the piano refrain that everyone remembers from Chariots of Fire. Previously, we'd have to do that with a separate program, but one of the nice new features of iMovie 09 is that we can now make that kind of audio adjustment from directly within the program. To do so, we're going to use a new feature called the Clip Trimmer. Now, the Clip Trimmer does work in a similar fashion on video, but today we're just going to do it for our audio piece. So we come to the head of our music piece. There's a small cog menu. And from the pop-up menu, we'll select Clip Trimmer. Now you'll notice that in the clip trimmer here is the entire piece of music represented by its audio waveforms. Those are these small spikes here and the wider the waveform is, the louder the music is. So in something with a particular beat, uh, you can actually see the peaks at a certain interval. Uh, here it's got more of a smoother tone and you'll notice that the brighter or white section, the light gray section of the audio waveforms is the portion of the audio soundtrack that's currently active to time out with our uh, the number of slides we have available. Uh, if we had additional slides or if we added additional slides at any point you'd see the light gray portion continue to expand over uh, into additional portions of the audio track. Uh, but for today what we're going to do is we're going to play through a little bit of the music by hitting the space bar as we've mapped over it. And we're going to find right there where the piano track comes in. You can pause it again. And I'm going to take the head of the clip trimmer and I'm just going to drag it down to the start of that piano track. I think it was right about there. We can again test it by hitting the space bar. Oops, bring it back up top. Hit the space bar. And that's the beginning of the piano music. So what we've done is we've adjusted the start of the music and you see that because we had about a minute of slides in place, the end has automatically adjusted, readjusted farther into the piece to cover all of our slides. Now if I wanted to, I could actually also take the tail end of the piece and I could drag that up into the light gray portion to shorten the music so it's actually shorter than the number of slides. I might do this if I also maybe had some ambient noise that I had recorded or some cheering of the crowds that I wanted to put in near the end. But because I'm, I'm happy with uh, just using a minute portion of the song to match out with my slideshow, I can go ahead and hit done here. And then when I go back to preview my slideshow and playing it from the beginning, you'll see that the music begins immediately. Uh, the, the recognizable refrain of Chariots of Fire begins immediately. And it's able to play a little bit, and I like the way the timing of that piece of music comes with the slideshow. Can it pause again, or I can help you enjoy how easy it is now to edit audio in, in iMovie 09.